People of the internet, today we must answer the age-old question, is the future so bright you gotta wear shades? Today we're gonna talk about the N-Real Air AR glasses. They sent them to me, uh, they sent them to me so I could check them out. And this is something that I've been really interested in for quite a long time because, <laughs> I don't know, I, it's, I've always kind of wanted to have AR in my life. I've wanted to have AR in my life and these things um, provide that in not too unwieldy a package, I guess. Uh, I mean, the downside is that as a glasses wearer, I have to put them over my glasses, which makes it like not really a thing that you would wanna do outside of the house. But I mean, if I took the glasses off and then put them on like, not too much unusual, not too unusual, I guess. Uh, like, maybe they look like glasses. Let's walk through what you get with the Enreal Air, and then we'll go into like what you can do with it. And finally, we'll talk about whether or not it's something that, you know, you should um, want to do. <laughs> so I got the package. They sent me, actually, they, they sent me this Oppo Find X that already had the the software built in, so you have to use this Nebula software. But then there's also AR spaces, like kind of some games and, and that kind of thing, kind of giving you a sense of what the AR can do, which is sort of having a screen on, in the glasses on your face, which it, it becomes sort of a, uh, like a, I guess a 200 inch screen is what it ends up becoming as you, as you look through the glasses and then you've got your screen. So what you have to do is it comes with this USB-C cable. It plugs in to the back of one of the temples of the glasses. You can adjust the glasses temple a little bit here and there. And uh, and then also on the other side so that you know it's, it's up and down a little bit. And then there's a sensor here that tells you that the glasses are on. And then there are removable uh, nose pads that you can use. And you can also use this little separator for, I, I, I guess this is for if you wear glasses, it'll, it'll sort of like give you a little bit of extra space. I think if you were, if you were to wear these things long-term as a glasses wearer, you would, you would want to have some kind of insert lenses or something like that. If we look back here, You'll, you'll see that you've got the lenses, and this is both two OLED screens, 1080p, 60 frames per second. And, uh, and so what it does is it just sort of projects whatever's on the screen of the device that you're using onto the lenses. So I, I plug this in, and it's powered by the device that you plug it into. So you can then, uh, let me see if I can, see if I can get this so you can see here. Uh, it's very difficult to show what you can see because uh, there you, you can see that the what's on the screen is being mirrored in the lenses themselves. So when you have it on, you basically see this phone screen inside of the glasses. Not only can you use them with the cable that they come with, you can also use them with other devices. You can use them with, say, something like uh, a, a Steam Deck that has a USB-C out uh, anything that has a digital monitor out through USB-C, you can just use the cable. And then anything that has uh, anything that has the potential for a monitor out, you can also use the cable. And the way that you do that is you've got here this uh, this adapter, and it it charges and and powers this cable. And then uh, this is basically a female to female HDMI uh, adapter. So you can plug this into your PlayStation, whatever console you have, whatever whatever is HDMI in. Uh, so you can you can wa you can watch and use any of that. But you could also do things like, okay, so here is a lightning adapter for the iPhone or an iPad with a lightning port. You can then have uh, you can then have this totally like I see my iPhone screen here uh, which is which is very interesting 
Uh, so I can go in and I can hit YouTube and I can watch YouTube videos or I could watch Netflix or I could play a game. If I paired a controller with my iPhone or whatever I had it plugged into, then I could use the controller, play games, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you can darken this entirely so you get a little bit better view with this uh, sort of dark insert that you can put over top of the lenses. So now that I had this on, I can see a whole lot better. Uh, but here I can sort of see my, I can see my iPhone, but I can also see uh, what's beyond me. So it's actually pretty cool. Whether or not it's officially supported with the Nebula app, you should be able to mirror your screen regardless as long as there is a, a digital output from the, the port of your phone. And I think these days most of those have it. So let's take another little walk around the hardware itself. There's uh, some buttons. These buttons are not volume buttons. They are brightness buttons. You can control the brightness of the screen in there. And then this is a power button right here that will connect to the device that you're plugged into. Uh, again, you don't have to power this if you're plugged into a device, it just works. There are three different sizes of these nose pads that come with it. So it comes lo loaded with the medium size and then you can also put the large and the small on. There's a little uh, there's a little tool that you can use to pop these off. Comes with a nice case. There's a place to hold your, your cables down in here. And then this closes up and then the glasses themselves just sit in there. Uh, and then this zips up kind of like a, a Beats pill or something along those lines. But here's the question. Is the Nreal Air something that you might want to purchase? They're around 300 or so dollars, uh, depending on what, you know, they could be on sale or something like that, but that's the basic ballpark of these. They're interesting. Now, I'm a lifelong glasses wearer, and so I'm kind of, I'm kind of used to wearing glasses. If you're not used to wearing glasses, it might be weird for you. But as somebody who's used to wearing glasses, I can see the utility of them and honestly in using them watching videos and just using them to mirror my uh, screens that I plugged into they were actually really cool and and I really enjoyed using them they're not super thick but they are thicker than what you might think I mean there's this is where the screen housing is and then you have this angle these angled lenses coming down that refract and show you what you're looking at. So they're not really, <laughs> they're a little bit thicker and a little bit more heavy than uh, than you would think, but they're not nearly as, as thick or as cumbersome as say a VR headset. I could not get the AR stuff to work with these. Uh, like I said, a kid, they sent me this Oppo Find X5 uh, and, and it was preloaded with the AR stuff. I couldn't get it to work. So there is an aspect of this where dedicated software for it is probably still a work in progress. However, just the utility of plugging them into a smartphone or a gaming device or even something like an Apple TV or something along those lines, whether, whether it's you're on a long flight and you wanna have your own high definition screen, I think that they are very cool and I think that there's potential in them right now. And the price is such that if they're, they're something that if you are one of those early adopters, you could grab them and check them out. And, and I think probably have some fun with them, but they are not at this moment perfect and ready for widespread use by everyone out there. So thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. This is the Nreal Air AR glasses. Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. It's painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.